Well, very good morning, everybody, for Tuesday, the 6th of July. So, unseasonable low pressure over us at the moment, um, and an occluded front sort of passed overnight, and we did get quite a lot of rain. Uh, that is starting to clear away up towards East Anglia in the northwest, uh, northeast, sorry. But uh, we're looking at some more sort of instability coming in later. And with this fairly low pressure, it's very easy to trigger showers. As we go into the next couple of days, probably another unsettled uh, picture for, for some parts of Wednesday before a what, sort of a ridge of high pressure, if you can call it that, uh, comes in for uh, the uh, Thursday afternoon and into Friday. But yes, yeah, still fairly unsettled for this time of year. The isobars are quite tightly packed, and with that, there brings a reasonable amount of wind. At flying heights, probably 250 uh, degrees, uh, a, probably about 25 knots or so. And the public forecast is showing that uh, we'll see sort of variable conditions, uh, probably a brief flyable spell before it gets a bit too showery later in the afternoon and goes a little bit more southwesterly. Uh, but yeah, potentially surface winds uh, always above 15 knots, maybe even gusting towards 25 knots at times. The satellite picture above the UK shows that we're just going to come through sort of a bit of a sucker's gap. Um, that's why we can see blue sky outside. It may brighten up and continue, but uh, any sort of significant heating to the ground is going to trigger uh, some fairly sharp showers. The top temperature today, looking at around sort of 17 or 18 degrees and dew points of around 12. The picture outside currently looks like that. Uh, it's starting to get a bit of a break in the cloud, as I said. So it'll be interesting to see how that uh, sort of develops. And uh, at Lashman, we currently have a temperature of 13 and a dew point of 11, which is not particularly surprising given how low the cloud is. Rain alarm is showing that there are already showers sort of in the not too distant future. And you can see uh, instability starts to build up over Devon and Cornwall. So yes, nothing immediate at the moment, but it is not going to stay great forever. And Odium, uh, let's see if we can get a more recent one. Uh, yeah, so the farmer was saying sort of scattered at sort of seven, eight hundred feet and uh, broken at twelve hundred. So they're going up to scattered at three thousand, but as you can see, lots in the tap here to suggest that we're going to get showers and potentially some large gusts. Top meteor, as you might expect, is not predicting a particularly good cross country day given all these showers. But the flyable window that we may have. Uh, does sort of show that we might get sort of cloud bases of around two to two and a half thousand feet. Uh, potentially a bit better just after lunch, just before it really goes really showery. Uh, cloud bases of at around one, two o'clock of around sort of three to three and a half thousand feet. Uh, but yeah, shower activity then really does take over. And uh, yeah, potentially an isolated thunderstorm. But uh, no guarantee on that yet. So all in all, a bit of a tricky one today. Um, I think we should probably try and make the most of any gap we get. Um, but uh, on the proviso that we know that if it starts getting a bit too exciting, that we'll uh, stand down. OK, airspace-wise, uh, Eversley Danger Area is active today, uh, just in the north corner, northeastern corner of the Salisbury Plain. At we have Kievel, who's active all day today uh, between 10 and 5.30. Fairford uh, is active today uh, between uh, 6 and 1 today. And there's a parachute display between 9.45 and 10.15 in the vicinity of Swindon. Uh, so double check a little bit more detail if you are taking a motor glider out there this morning. Other than that, all the usual areas are active. There's nothing else particularly significant in our area. 
Uh, I reckon if we are going to go flying, we'll start on two seven if we can. Uh, we might uh, need to go to two three if, if we're out for a bit longer. But uh, yeah, uh, the ground is going to be a little bit wet, so we've got to see that. I can't, I can't honestly believe the amount of rain we're still getting. Um, I would really prefer if we just keep to K twenty ones, and we do have enough to sort of spread around. So uh, when I'm on, when I get on site, I'll uh, probably divvy those up between you all. Uh, but yes, today's not really the day for sort of uh, single seaters or K thirteens if you're going to be having big gusts of wind. So uh, yeah, it might be a bit of sharing going on. And I know we've got one K twenty one, which does need a bit of quick maintenance this morning uh, with uh, the rudder pedals. Okay, we will see how we get on today, and uh, maybe I'll see you a bit later in the week if uh, we get an even bigger improvement. Bye for now.